As you know, this is the second year for our department uh, participating in the No Shave November, and uh, our guys and even some of the girls have had a lot of fun with it this year. We had 38 officers that participated this year. With that, we had a fun contest with our social media uh, pages this year, which is the first time we did that, encouraging those, uh, some of our Facebook followers, to vote on the best facial hair. So um, we had a lot of fun with that, a couple thousand people that participated by voting. And uh, we even had some of our records girls show up for the picture with some uh, fake mustaches and goatees and things like that. So all around, it was a uh, pretty fun month around the Pekin Police Department. Today, we're excited to present our proceeds to a great cause. And I would like to introduce the Chief of Police, John Dossie. I'd like to first say that while I've only been the police chief in Pekin for a very short time, it amazes me to no end how dedicated the police officers of this fine organization are to the people of our community. The officers of the Pekin Police Department find many ways to make a difference in our community and we are here today in a display of those efforts. Prior to my coming to Pekin, I was contacted by Deputy Chief Kaminsky about the No Shave November event. I was not sure what to think about this at first, but was told that it was an event that the department enjoyed participating in and an opportunity to make a difference in our community. I have to say that watching them get involved and the fun they had doing it was truly amazing. I want to thank all of the department members for their efforts and the attention that they have drawn to not only the positive things we do on a daily basis, but the attention and commitment they've shown for our community which they serve. There are many organizations that could benefit from the money raised by this event. It was important to the officers and personnel of the Pekin Police Department that we support an organization within our own community so that we could continue to make a difference in Pekin. This year, we chose to donate the proceeds from our No Shave November event to the Carroll House of Hope. The Carroll House of Hope is an organization that supports battered and abused women and their children. They are a not-for-profit organization who in 2015 have provided services for approximately 100 people in need of support and housing. This is a center that is extremely important to our community as they provide services to those who are most in need and have nowhere else to return. It is my honor and privilege to present to the Carroll House of Hope on behalf of the men and women of the Pekin Police Department a check in the amount of $1,470. First of all, let me say thank you to Chief Dossie for the generosity of the Pekin um, Police Department. Um, without partnerships uh, like this for Carroll House of Hope and the Center for Preventative Abuse main campus over in Peoria and our facilities in the Peoria, Tazewell, and Woodford counties, uh, we wouldn't be able to continue to serve the 5,000 plus people that come to us um, to try to leave violent and abusive situations every year. Uh, so partnerships are key. And uh, we are very grateful to the men and women of the Pekin Police Department uh, for taking the initiative and bringing awareness uh, to a very important cause in Pekin, um, which is providing safe shelter for people at Carroll House of Hope. It is a close shave at the Center for Prevention of Abuse um, because of a lack of a state budget. And we appreciate um, all partnerships that allow us to continue our services we continue to operate at 100%, serving everybody that comes to us seeking peace, and uh, we want to continue to do that. So we're very hopeful that a state budget will come. But until then, um, there's a tremendous amount of funding um, from a, a fun and awareness building cause um, is going to make a dent in that and allow us to continue on.